So, if you know me in real life, then you'll know that I love books and I read a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, whenever we come to New York, I'm always dying to go to Barnes and & Nobles, and today we did, and I got some books, and I'm super, super excited to read them all, and I thought that I'd share them with you in case you see any books and you're like, I want to read that, that sounds good. Not that I'll be very good at giving synopsises because I'm tired. The first book I have is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. This is set in an alternative Russia where there's only two enchanters left, a girl named Vika and a boy named Nikolai. And when the Russian Empire is threatened by the Ottoman Empire, the Tsar decides to do this thing or start this thing called The Crown's Game where these two enchanters have to fight against each other till the death and whoever wins gets to be like the main enchanter, enchanter in command. So the next book I have is A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I've heard only good things about this book, so I'm really excited that I finally picked it up. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, where our main character, Fairy, Fairy, I really don't know how to say her name, kills a wolf and she is dragged away to the land of Fairy by this monster. At least she thinks it's a monster at first, but it turns out to be somebody who used to be a fairy king named Tamlin. And Tamlin kind of keeps her hostage in his castle, but then she starts to fall in love with him, and then something starts happening to the world of fairy. The next book I have, it's Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So this book follows our main character Simon, who is gay but not openly, and he has like an email pal who he seems to be crushing on a little called Blue, but then one of his emails gets into the wrong hands and someone starts blackmailing him and he has to be a wingman for a guy in his high school. And that's where it kind of kicks off and a lot of stuff ensues after that and it sounds like it's going to be really funny and cute and I'm very excited to finally be reading this. So then I have The Beauty of Darkness, which is the third book in the Remnant Chronicles by... Mary E. Pearson. This is the last book, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but the first book follows our main character who's a princess who's supposed to be wed off to a person she doesn't know to kind of strengthen an alliance in her kingdom because there's an opposing kingdom and war is like on the brink of bursting out. But she runs away because she doesn't want to marry this guy. Little does she know that an assassin from the opposing kingdom and the prince that she was supposed to marry both follow her to the little town where she runs away to and from there the story takes off. It becomes really political, especially in the second book, and a lot of character development happens, so I'm really excited to see how it ends. The next book I have is the book that I'm most excited for in this whole entire haul, and that's Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is her new series, and it follows our main character named Laszlo Strange, who is an orphan in a world where you get chosen by a dream, and that dream is like something you're supposed to fulfill or that you can fulfill or give up on and his dream is of a forgotten or like a lost city called Weep but he gets the chance to go there or try and discover it and he takes it. Yes, I'm super excited to read this and if you haven't read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, read it, it's so good. Always and Forever, Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I had to get this. I mean, I've read the other two books in the to all the boys I've loved before series and adored both of them. They're just so cute and sweet and lighthearted and just such nice reads. And I'm gonna be at a beach, so this is like ideal. In case you don't know, the first book follows a girl named Laura Jean and she always writes letters to the boys that she was in love with when she's done being in love with them and has gotten over them. But somehow these letters get out and chaos ensues. It's really cute. There's a lot of baking and there's sister moments and it's just adorable. So the next book I have is Heartless by Marissa Mayer. This is a retelling or like an alternative Alice in Wonderland, which happens before Alice comes to Wonderland and is the story of how the Red Queen becomes the Red Queen. Yeah, I'm excited for this reimagined Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland, so yay. Okay, last book called The Last Magician, how fitting. So this book is by Lisa Maxwell and it's about a girl named Esther, and Esther has the power to manipulate time and basically travel through time. And she's trained her whole life as a thief of magical artifacts because she lives in a modern day New York where magicians don't really exist anymore. And 
The ones who do exist and live in New York, they can't leave New York without losing their powers and potentially losing their lives. So she's supposed to go back in time to steal a book from the last magician before he can make a pact with like an evil organization called The Brink and therefore cause this trapping of the magicians and disappearing of the magicians from New York. But everything isn't as it seems and stuff goes down. That's <laughs> a really great synopsis, I know. I'm really excited to read this one as well. I'm super excited to read all of these books. So I'm super excited to read all of these books and maybe I'll do book reviews. We'll see, I don't know. And I will probably hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>